always good to find a gate open some of these places would generally be locked wow good evening guys i hope you're all well welcome to this evening's vlog we have decided to do a vlog on a friday evening because we have a friend down a very close friend of ours come down from scotland so i thought i'd get the vlogging out of the way on friday evening so we could enjoy the weekend together Today I found myself in the northernest point of Northampton. This is Northamptonshire. It's about 31 miles away from where I lived. It's taken approximately an hour, 55 minutes to an hour to get here. And I am basically doing an exploration on an old church ruins. This is called the Old Church of St. John's. It's a place called, we we'll call it Bolton. Um, I think it's 14th century could be could be even earlier than that it comes with a lot of history and also some haunts which i've got a few stories whether they're true whether they're urban legends i'm not quite sure make of that what you will but hope you guys enjoy it let's have a look wow what an incredible set of ruins Adorned at the bottom of a hill, we're basically walking through an old, an old graveyard to get to this place. But that looks pretty spectacular. Not much left standing of it now. There's certainly something to explore. This is 14th century, I believe. Quite thick walls. They have shored it up. I have seen photographs of over maybe two or three years ago, they put scaffolding over the top and you can see they've sorted out all the point in just to make sure it doesn't fall into further ruin. So this would be like a, a permanent monument now to the area itself. Supposedly, it is one of the most haunted graveyards in the UK. Whether that's true or not, I obviously, I've done a few in my time and they all pretty much turn around and say the thing saying, oh, this is the most haunted, etc. But the graves are certainly old. And there are a few stories of which I will tell two of them. Actually, see what we can find walking around the perimeter area. I said it's on a hill, it's really weird. This is really quite marshy, boggy around where I am. A load of graves from centuries ago, some not as long as that, some a few decades. It all fits with the quirkiness of the channel, I believe, around here. All right, here we are. This is called Old St. John's Well. It's like a natural spring that's been sitting here as long as the church has. I just thought originally it was just part of a tunnel, but then I read into it and it turns around and says spring, and maybe that's why it's soft underfoot around here. But yeah, that is supposedly spring water in there. Would you drink it? Don't think I would. The sun is starting to go down now. This adds an extra spookiness to the to the find. I think there's actually two or three vehicles parked at the top, the van in a lay-by. Just having a break, I guess, but no one apart from myself has ventured down here. So I am pretty much by myself, which I don't mind. It's just, there shouldn't be anything to give you the eebie-jeebies. 
and things like that make you jump out as if someone's walking a dog and it's off its lead and it'll come from out the bushes when you least expect it. That's a fantastic tree. I don't even know what that is. Is that a redwood? It is huge. You can walk right round it with a, the branches overhanging and they're going nowhere near me. Never come across anything like this before. Yeah, I'm gonna guess at a redwood, but I don't know. Don't know me trees. There you go. There appears to be graves scattered about all over the place. Good thing is they've all pretty much remained untouched. Nothing appears to be vandalized. Yeah, pretty old. I mean, some of those, they could be past Victorian era. I might have a closer look in a second. This would be a perfect spine chilling horror movie location. Be it vampires, zombies, what else would you have? Grave robbers, possibly. Or dare I say werewolves. There you go. 1885. That'd be... Still be around the time of your cowboy towns in... In America. That'd be Billy the Kid era. Eighteen sixty seven, even earlier. <coughs> that is not the predator. I believe that's a magpie. <laughs> Ghostly haunts such as spirits of children, a lady with beautiful red hair in white robes, whatever that means, whether that's a wedding dress, etc. Uh, even a headless man have been seen in this location over the years. So I've got, I've sort of memorised two of the stories that are from this grim and terrifying site, but whether they're true, you make of that of what you will, but I'll read them out to you. This graveyard is believed to be haunted by a local notorious highwayman named George Catherall. He went by the nickname of Captain Slash. Now, does that mean he went around slashing people's throats? I don't know. Maybe he just carried a knife or a sword, etc. It is widely believed that his soul searches for the members of his gang right here, amongst the graves. Catherall was tried in Northampton on July 1826 and was subsequently hanged for his crime of robbing a local shoemaker or cobbler. North Ants has a long history with cobblers. Even the local football team uses the nickname of the cobblers. Most hangings would have taken place in an area called Angel Lane. This today can be found behind the Northampton Art Gallery and the local museum. I believe 18 men and women met this fate between 1819 and 1852. They say around 200 years ago, a young couple had been married for only a few months, enjoying the their new sort of found courtship. And um, within hours, the groom dropped dead, allegedly. Grief stricken and unable to live without her love, the young lady ended her life. I don't know how she ended her life, whether she took an overdose, cut her throat, hung herself, etc. But it's led to believe that she took her own life. Um, following from the tale of the, of the doomed newlyweds, um, it is believed that there is a lady that walks around here in white robes, whether that is a wedding dress or just a white gown. She's got long red hair, supposed to be really beautiful looking. 
and um, she entices male passers by and asks for a kiss. But you must be warned that if you do kiss her, it is believed there is a curse and you die a month, 28 days later. On such a case, there was a guy called William Parker in 1875. He met this so-called beautiful lady and kissed her around Christmas time and died exactly a month later. So make of that what you will. These are possibly old folklore, myths, legends, etc. But it adds to a backstory. You always know when you get a backstory wherever I go. It's very likely that this grave right here in front of me is probably a good three centuries old. The ones that are smaller, more stubby, generally tend to be quite older. Some of them like not so well marked, no inscriptions on them, etc. Okay, location wise of where we are, it's pronounced Bolton or Bowton. For argument's sake, we'll call it Bolton. Um, this is approximately five miles north of Northampton, the town itself. This is Northamptonshire. It's about, well, I've driven 31 miles to get here. Parking access, as you can see, cars parked over there. There's a few other vehicles in, but they're just having a rest up. They're not actually venturing in. I'm the only one in here at the moment, which I quite like. Um, this road would take you to Kettering, it filters off from the A43, which has come from the A45 and the M1. As I said it's, um, I think it's yeah, English heritage now. Sorry for the bird mess, but the spire is long gone, and all you have now is the ruins. It's called St John's Church. See what I mean? I'm going to pronounce it as Bolton, but it is probably possibly Bolton or Bowton. It's how your interpretation of pronunciation etc comes about. We're sort of about an hour and a half from it getting dark now. I'll be long gone on my way home by then. I just wanted to show you just yet another find. It sort of fits perfectly with the sort of quirky stuff I do. Of course, I've had the backstories, looked into them, investigated them beforehand. Whether there is an element of truth in what they are, I'm just reporting on what I've, I've read up on. And some of these stories go back possibly a good few centuries more graves that would have been marked but over the time moss has formed on it and <laughs> all you've just got now is a plimp and back into the ruins Know more about church ruins than I do about actual churches. I would not know the layout, apart from maybe looking back there. I guess maybe you could have had candles sitting there. Obviously they probably would have been, could have been stained glass. Would have been huge windows, that's for sure. Door areas, I'm not sure what would have stood where. There is a perimeter wall called John's Wall that follows right around the perimeter of the area and the graveyard itself. Which I said, it's, it's overgrown, it's got that natural feel of it, but it's not got any element of damage to it. And where I was walking before, we're now pretty much standing above the well I was looking at, is basically right there, tucked away. It said I thought it was a tunnel.
appears to be a, a thicket, small wooded area situated at the back. This is the John's Wall, which is part of the church ruins itself. You can see a tiny little stream running through it. I've heard some sort of wildlife out there. Possibly be badger, fox, maybe even little munchak deer. But I shall leave them in peace and make our way back to the ruins. Okay guys, that's going to do it from me for today. I hope you've enjoyed this little explore. Got plenty coming up in the next few weeks, building up to what is going to be a real pinnacle, which is the 18 night stay in Lake Buena Vista with plenty of vlogging from the parks. Probably about 30 vlogs in total. Hopefully, Wi-Fi permitting, it's going to be same day of upload. That's the intention. I don't do all the come home, wait for a couple of months, build music and etc. I like to do it there and then. Everyone is the way they are. They do things differently. I like to sort of release the same day and then go on to another event. So there you go. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed it. Have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you in the movies. Bye for now.